my name is Pandora, and welcome back to Dear Mona. It is mm, chapter 8, Monday. You can't get Mark out of your head. What do you do when the past and present collide? Stupid ads. Chapter 8, Monday. I didn't know what to do. I had made plans with Sean, but I couldn't get Mark's invitation out of my head. What would happen if I went to meet him with him? What would happen if I didn't? You made plans with both of them? You dirty girl, you. I told you. I didn't make plans with Mark. He just wants me to meet him. It's some sort of test, I think. For what? I don't know. This is also confusing. Well, he has some big cojones to think you'd go. Obviously, you're not going to break your plans with Sean. Not even for your on-the-stick ex-boyfriend. Are you sure about that, Max? Look at her face. I don't think she's decided. I think she's considering the on the stick. Of course she's not. She has a good thing going with Sean. She wouldn't ruin it over a ghost from her past. Can you not talk about me like I'm not here? It's giving me a headache. Well then, what do you want to do? Do I meet with Mark or Sean? I'd say keep your promise to Sean. I made solid plans with Sean, and I want to keep them. He's been really sweet to me. Showing up at the dance like he did, going out on his comfort zone for by dating me. He doesn't deserve to get his plans blown off. Well, we're behind you, whatever you choose. Speak for yourself, sister. I love you, Pandora, but the old you it was depressing. Mopping, moping around, disengaged with life. You're finally happy, and you found someone great, not to mention really hot in his own right. Don't let Mark ruin that for you again. I know, you're right, Max. I just, I feel like there's something he's not telling me. Something about what happened that day. I think that's a lot he's not telling you. And the question is, do you really want to know what that is? Miss Lee was my English teacher. Of all the teachers in the school, she was the most ex exquisite one. But she was also one of the most caring ones. I have to say, the poem you turned in today was inspiring. Oh, um, thanks. Was it true? Did you want to try to run away? I did. I didn't make it past Port Keepson. That must have been some adventure. Are you okay, Pandora? You're a little you're a bit long in the face today. I'm fine. Just have a lot on my mind. I see. Does this have anything to do with the matters of the heart? Miss Lee says I'm sad because of love troubles. What should I say? Admit it. It does. I'm really confused at the moment. Love is quite confusing. I should know. I've been married six times. What? No way. Way. But I've learned a lot, too. So if you ever want to talk, I'm here. Thanks, Miss Lee. Hmm. Well, how about a little unsolicited advice? Sure. Whenever I'm facing with a tough dis situation, I tell myself, it's better to be happy than to be right. I like that. 
It has served me well in the past. Well, except for husband number four. He was insane. Tried to drown me in my beanie baby collection. Miss Lee is sharing details of her love life. What do I want do I want to know more? Um what? Long story, but I think I drove him crazy with my stuffed animal obsession. He was finding them everywhere. And one day he finally snapped. Told me if it wasn't him or them. I said them. He wasn't too happy about that response. Wow. Sounds very traumatic. It was for my babies. Uh-huh. Anyway, thanks, Miss Lee. I'll keep that advice in mind. Later in the evening. Ugh. I don't want know what to do. But I do know one thing. What are you doing? Whoever I choose, I have to make sure I look my best. I don't have any coins. Well, I do. I got ten. I'll go with this. I don't know how this evening will turn out, but I know I'll look darn good. Like I belong on the runway. This helps with my confidence. It doesn't help with making my decision. I know what I want to do. And keeping Miss Lee's advice in mind, I think I'm going to go with my heart. It's time to go meet Sean. Hello, Sean. Where did you want to meet? Sure, I can't wait. How, how'd you like the movie? It was a blast. Literally explosions all over the place. I know, they really went all out. But the jokes were pretty decent, too. Yeah, that actually surprised me. I loved how funny it was. Really? I didn't notice you laugh that much. Oh, I'm just a little distracted today. Why? Is something wrong? Um, just school and stuff. The stress of senior year. Oh, I see. But hey, even if you fail, you can be a stylist. Or a fashion designer. Your sense of style is out of this world. I hate lying to Sean, but there's no way I can tell him what's on my mind. I wonder if Mark is still waiting for me. Well, how about I pick you up at school tomorrow? I'll take you for a ride on my bike. It will clear your head, you'll see. Sounds like a plan. Great. What's that? Pandora. Can you please come out? Oh, gee, I can't believe Mark's at my window. Keep it down, Mark, or Mom will notice. I'll be there in a minute. Thanks for coming with me. Well, you were in precedent. So tell me, why am I here, Mark? I wanted to show you something. A letter I wrote you the day after I moved. I planned to send it so many times, but I never did. Oh? Yes. What do you want to see? Do you want to see it? Okay. Here it is. Dear Pandora, I'm going to start by saying I'm sorry. I'm sorry for breaking your doll when we were five. I'm sorry for pushing you into that lake when we were seven. I'm sorry for calling you a tampon when you were twelve. I'm sorry for putting that cockroach in your hair when we were 14. And most of all, I'm sorry I wasn't there to meet you on our first day of high school. I'm sorry I left without a word. I'm sorry I left you think thinking the worst. I'm sorry I never explained. And I'm sorry I wasn't worthy of your love. Please forgive me. And please forgive me for these past three years. I added that part an hour ago. I mean it, Pandora. I'm so sorry. 
You've said sorry enough times, Mark. I just don't know if I can ever forgive you. Not if you don't tell me the truth about why. Well, there is something else I wanted to tell you. It's about the past three years. I'm listening. I came to see you a few times. You did? I'm sorry. It was probably a little creepy, but I couldn't stay away. And you never let me know? I'll tell you all about it now. Mark, first you have to tell me why you left. I'm not sure that I can. Why did Mark disappear from three years ago? I don't have the coins. Fine. The past is said and done. What I want to know is what's going on in the here and now. I don't understand any of this. I brought you out here today to our spot because I want to say that that I don't think there will ever be another girl for me. Mark said I'm not the only girl for him. What do I think? Ask him about Stacy. Then why are you with Stacy? Well, I met Stacy one night and thought, why not? I have to get over Pandora and maybe this will help. But I knew immediately it wasn't right. That I could never be with her. Now I'm surely than ever. I could never be with anyone when all I want is you. Stacy means nothing to me. And she never will. Oh, Mark. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. What do you want from me? After all this time, what do you think I can give you? What I want is to go back in time. To give you the kiss that I owe you. Oh no. I knew it was wrong, but I couldn't help it. There was a part of me that was always aching for this, dreamed of this, and yawned for Mark for so long, and now all these dreams were coming true. Ooh, she's making a big mistake. Well, that is it for uh, this part. If you're liking the series, hit that subscribe button. There's a lot of viewers that are not hitting that subscribe button, so help a girl out. And if you're liking, hit that like button, hit that share button, share with all your friends and family, and I will see y'all in the next episode. If you're not afraid, open that box. Bye, guys.